Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and I thought this would be a fun winter activity to go out and see this mushroom, which I'm sure you've probably seen, but winter time is a great time to look for it. Clean to old stumps, fallen branches, logs, layered like feathers of wild turkey. Turkey tail is one of the most common mushrooms you'll find in our forests. But what surprises many people is that this humble looking fungus that you can find everywhere is one of the most widely studied fungi by the scientific and the medical community in all the world. Today here at Nature at Your Door, we're gonna take a closer look at this fungus. What it is, how to identify it, where does it grow, and a little about its medicinal importance to so many people around the world. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. Turkey tail is a bracket fungus, meaning it grows in thin shelf-like layers on wood rather than popping up through the soil on a stem like many mushrooms. Its scientific name is Trimedes versicolor. And Trimedes means very thin and versicolor means a lot of different colors. You may find it with bands of brown, tans, grays, blues, and even of hints of green. And these colorful names are what gives it the name turkey tail because it does look like the pattern of colors on the tail of a turkey when it's all spread out. Unlike many mushrooms, this isn't the kind of mushroom you'll collect and fry up and serve with dinner. It's very tough but its secrets lie within its tissues. So where do you find turkey tail? Well, you'll see it practically everywhere. And if you go out in the woods near you, I can almost guarantee you'll find it if you've got hardwood trees. It may show up on some pines, but decaying hardwood trees, stumps and branches is the most common place you'll see it. Turkey tails are wood decomposers. Without it, our woods would pile up with debris. So turkey tails are very important in taking the digestion resistant parts of the plant, lignins and celluloses and hemicelluloses, and they can secrete enzymes in the logs that'll break it down and they can absorb the nutrition from it and produce this tissue that we call turkey tails. Now what's the cool thing about turkey tails? Well, you can find it year round, but especially in winter, where a lot of people feel like they don't have so much to look for and find on a winter trail. But turkey tails are always a rewarding find, winter or summer. So how do you identify turkey tail? And there's a couple of lookalikes, but these are the features that'll distinguish it for you. They have these thin leathery caps. Of course, they have these concentric bands of multiple colors and a white or cream colored underneath and underneath are pores. Make sure you can see the pores to correctly identify it as turkey tails. The lookalikes are either smooth with no pores or they have gills on them. So look closely on the underside of turkey tails and you should see a lighter colored surface with tiny pores in it. No gills and it's not smooth. Note how this looks like turkey cat tail from the top with the bands and the striations. But notice they are not thin, and notice they are definitely have gills underneath. So this is one of the turkey tail lookalikes. This is not turkey tail. When foraging mushrooms, remember you always have to be 100% certain, and I always recommend if you're gonna eat any kind of mushroom, be sure you go with someone that has a lot of expertise, find a local mushroom club, and go to someone with expertise to make sure that you are making the right identification. The wrong identification can be lethal. There's plenty of very, very toxic mushrooms out there. Turkey tails have a long history of traditional medical use dating back thousands of years, particularly in Chinese and Japanese cultures. Turkey tails contain powerful compounds called polysaccharides, especially PSK and PSP. These compounds are known for the abilities to support the immune system. In Japan, extracts of turkey tails have actually been used 
as amendments to people taking chemotherapy. It's not replacing the chemotherapy, but they apply it to help divert some of the uh, negative impacts of the chemotherapy itself. Research suggests that turkey tails may help boost the immune system. Turkey tails may promote gut health and also overall wellness and resilience. It's often described as a preventative or a supportive mushroom rather than an actual cure-all. And it can, I can't emphasize enough, it's always important to consult a healthcare professional before using any medical mushroom regularly, especially if you're on medication. I have friends that make tinctures of this and swear by it for all sorts of uh, general wellness, immune system boosting powers, and overall just making them feel good. How do people use turkey tail? Well, because it's tough, it's usually brewed into teas. It's powdered and added to capsules, or it's used in long simmering deconcoctions. It's really not about flavor. It's about slowly extracting these beneficial compounds. I hope you're as fascinated learning about turkey tails as I was when I first started to learn about its medicinal and health uses. It's a beautiful plant. I've seen so many different color combinations and it's grown in so many different places. I hope that you'll go outside and look for it. And if you do, leave me a comment. Tell me where you are, when you found it, and what the colors you saw in it. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, and turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. But thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.